And I think what we could say about this case, again, is that first of all, the uh, tissue or organ involved is a kidney. You could see a whole variety of tubules here. You could see some glomeruli. Here's one, here's one. Perhaps here is one, here is one. The reason perhaps why these glomeruli might not be that uh, readily, abundantly apparent is because they're not normal. Take a look at them. Normally in a glomerulus, you see a nice mixture of cells between the mesangial cells, the podocytes, and the endothelial cells. In most of these glomeruli, and here's one example, you could see that there are sheets of acellular material, which are eosinophilic, maybe finely granular or hyalinized and pink, and they are spotted all throughout the glomeruli. And in some areas, they are quite large. Uh, let's find another glomerulus and see if we could see much of the same thing. Here's a remnant of one, and I think you could see some more of this uh, material again. Uh, it's kind of hard to spot these things as nicely as we'd like to. Here's part of a glomerulus here as well. And here's another one. Notice that although you could recognize this as being a glomerulus, once again, you can see that a large portion of it is replaced by this pink or eosinophilic, hyalinized, if you want to call it glassy or granular material, you can. And as you know by now, the differential diagnosis of pink smudgy material in tissue pathology is a mile wide. Could it be fibrin? Could it be fibrous tissue? Could it be inspissated protein? It could be a whole wide variety of things. Well, one of the things that you can rule out or rule in actually very quickly would be if you did a Congo red stain of this glomerulus and you would see that if you polarized it after you stain this area with the Congo red stain, it would be brilliantly apple green and birefringent. So this is another organ in which amyloid is involving with its function. This is amyloidosis of the kidney. We could see here that it was in primarily in the glomeruli, but I think if you look at some of the big blood vessel walls, if we have the time to see it, you will notice it involves uh, blood vessel walls too. Amyloid frequently involves blood vessel walls in any part of the body, not just the kidney. And uh, I guess if we could find a big blood vessel, I could probably convince you that perhaps there's some area in it that looks like amyloid. And uh, perhaps we have some here because it seems to be kind of a hyalinized area in here. But the changes, and perhaps in this blood vessel, I could convince you if we stained it, you would see some material here. But for the most part, I believe in this kidney, the primary area in which we see the amyloid are in these glomeruli. And in this particular glomerulus, it looks like it's about 90% amyloid, doesn't it? Thank you very much.